Well, I fell down the Colleen Ballinger rabbit hole and I can't get out, but I was listening to the H3 podcast today and they said this and I know the clip they're talking about. They have a family channel where they film their kids. Oh, they also have a family channel. If you um, remember, actually, a few years ago, do you remember when YouTube was turning off comments? Yeah. Um, a big reason was uh, people were time stamping in their comments because I... one of their sons does gymnastics. And, oh, um, God. Yes. And I do remember watching Colleen's vlogs and she talked about it and she said basically like it's such a shame that youtube is turning off the comments and like these people are ruining it for us and it was just like a very interesting outlook on the thing your was, children on video and i remember when that was a thing there was like straight up pedos time stamping yeah. and little boys and girls videos that they just put up for like their family and friends and stuff yeah. and then these videos would end up with like hundreds of thousands of views and timestamps to when like they're in a compromising position, it's so, was so, 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 so vile and disturbing. Mm -hmm. I felt like YouTube disabling the comments, it was either that or like ban kids yeah. content. It was so bad. It was yeah. so gross. But so they, wait, were, they were pretty upset about it when it was happening in the opposite sense that the rest of the world really was. That is so interesting. Yeah. I care more about the safety of children than anything else. And that's why I'm talking about this. By demonetizing videos that have kids in it that a, pre a predator would find appealing, that a pedophile would watch and like be excited about and be gross about, by demonetizing those videos, all you're doing is helping the pedophile. Because now the pedophile doesn't have to sit through an ad to watch a child and get excited. Now, a pedophile can watch a video of a kid and prey on a child and watch a video and be disgusting about a child, a victim. Like, this child now is a victim of someone doing a disgusting thing, and now they can watch it with no ads, and they can't comment, which means there's no way to find them. So if they can comment, you can go to that person's profile and at least have some sort of clue of who they are, where they are, and get them and report them. But if you don't have comments, now they can watch them ad-free. So now there's not an, a pesky little ad to watch before they prey on children. And they can't comment, so there's no way to find them. So now they can watch children in peace with no ads and do their nasty thing on children on the internet. And the children are not safe.